watching yet, but um, so what we're gonna, that one's creeping to go get the meat. We're gonna do a little bit of a training session with the alligators, uh, name recall, name training, stationing, things like that. We'll probably wait a little bit until we get some more viewers, and uh, yeah. Chris is just trying to back up some gators now. There's a few that we work with in particular. And this doesn't hurt the alligator. You can see he's being gentle, just, you know. There you go, perfect. I'll call Brutus over first. Hey, Brutus. Hey, you're backwards. Brutus. Go this way. Brutus. <laughs> Brutus. Come here, big man. We got some chicken. Brutus. He's like, I just walked all the way out for you. Why do you want me to keep turning around? Come on, buddy. Brutus. Brutus. There you go. Brutus. So he does know his name. This big guy over here, Head Shrinker, you want to introduce everybody to him? Yeah. Let's see. And huge thank you to Amanda for recording for us today. <laughs> the smaller piece. That's why you have to cut through. Oh, there you go. Drinker. Hey, buddy. Drinker. Whoa. Whoop. Whoop. Hi, buddy. Look at that big boy. Ooh, he's trying. <laughs> to get you? Oh, yeah, he was trying hard. Did you just frontal him? I missed it. Yeah, no, I had him, and he was trying really hard to get me. Be careful. Yeah, he wanted to. That was being better. Yeah. Being crazy. You crazy boy. Oh, there's Flacco. You want to call Flacco out? Yeah, sure. Flacco, he out? actually heard his name. <laughs> oh, did I say Brutus? I don't think I said Brutus. No, I said Flacco. So we can introduce Flacco and explain the, the eyes and the hearing. This is pretty interesting. Flacco. Flacco. So this gator coming out right now, guys, that right there is Flacco. Chris has worked with him for how long? Over 10 years? Flacco. Something, um, like, something that. like that. Flacco. Come here, buddy. Come here. Don't be lazy. You guys can see he's actually blind. Flacco. Come here. He's missing that eye because okay. we had to get him surgery. He had a really bad um, injury to his eye when we first Come got on. him. Come up here. Flacco. Flacco. Yeah, I'm on his mouth. Some chicken. Gator man. <laughs> Flacco. There you go. Flacco. Come on. Sometimes gators are unmotivated. Give me another one for Brutus, sir. Brutus. 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 There you go. Look at that hungry boy. So I know a lot of people are going to see this and think, how are you doing this without him attacking you? He's walking away. There you go, buddy. Yeah, big boy. Chris. Yes. A lot of people are gonna ask, how are you not getting attacked? Uh, it's train. I mean, it's training. It's working with the animal, getting him to understand I'm not gonna hurt him. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. That's why I was like touching him and then also giving him food and getting him to understand that like this is okay. This is a positive experience. Brutus. I know you have somebody on your back. That's why I want him to like make that positive association. Okay. But I mean, literally five Brutus. feet away. This one right there is a completely wild alligator I do not know whatsoever. Brutus. 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 Oh, he missed it. Yeah, a little piece fell off first. He went after. Can you give him a stick? I can get it. Well, good boy. Good boy. You want to just give me another little piece? Brutus. Brutus.
Someone asks, is this the outpost? Yes, this is Everglades Outpost in Homestead. And uh, all the alligators here are rescued nuisance alligators that um, Chris, myself, and Paul catch who rescued the neighborhood. We have a few videos um, on our channel, actually, of the gator rescues that we've done. So the gators that are too big to be released, instead of killing them, which is what most trappers do, they harvest the animal, we bring them here to live out the rest of their lives. Someone also asked, what is your newest gator? Or who is your newest gator? Well, no, no, the gator we caught that ate, uh, tried to eat the dogs. Hunter. Oh, yeah. yeah it's we, somewhere in here. Hunter, last week we caught Hunter. So he's probably the newest. And then today we're going to go trapping Bruce. and we might, we might catch Brutus. something else. Who knows? Look up. He's like, you don't got food here. Brutus. Shrinker has not come out for us with yet. Shrinker. Um, that's like almost a 12 foot alligator, I think. He's been in here probably for about a year. He just hasn't come out. Um, it would be really cool. Keep if on walking did. into that branch. <laughs> You're too this is the third time I've walked into this branch. <laughs> <laughs> it would be really cool to get him out, but he is Shrinker. missing a foot, so I think he's, he's pretty Shrinker. lazy. Shrinker. But he's thinking about it. He you just can see. His mouth. I know. Yes, I'll take that. I love it when they, they lift their head up and you just see him chewing. So funny. Is that Target right in front of you? To the left? Or no? Yeah, come here. Come here. Yeah, come out. You be my friend. That would be so cool if he came out. Come Do you want a piece of chicken for him? Yeah. Here. Watch Brutus. It's important to not tease them, to positively reward them. So that's why he's going to feed him right now. And the more he comes out, we'll keep positively rewarding that. Because that would be amazing if we could train him to, to walk Shrinker. out. Come here, buddy. But you can see he's missing that foot there. That's how he came in. So we assume that must have been from fighting with another alligator at some point in his life. And when people see an injury like this, they often think like, wow, that must have been an epic battle with this giant gator and a bigger gator. Look at how healed that is. I mean, there's a high chance that happened when he was this big. That could that could be a 40 year old injury. Where yeah, that, that could happen when he was literally hatchling. Hey, this way. Come this way. You're in the way. I know they're trying to kill him. Open. Open. Flacco's being a good boy. We can give Flacco some. Yeah. So Flacco is blind, and we also think he's currently deaf. Flacco. Okay, we don't know what happened, but we're back, so can you give it to him? We have 40 people watching still. That was weird. The It got interrupted. Wow, a lot of people are here from TikTok. Yeah, that was so weird. That was so weird. Like, all my stuff on TikTok is gators, and we do a live video, and they're like, you're going to suspend my channel for doing this. Like, I, I don't know. I'm pretty offended. I'm pretty upset about it. Look how big this boy is. There you go. It's a big alligator. Target. Do you see her? No. And this is Amanda. She's actually learning from, from Chris and I how to work with alligators. She's doing a great job. And everybody's going to say, how do I do that? You gotta come wait, to wait. Okay, hold on. I, you're wearing flip-flops? Look what Amanda's wearing. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Are those slippers? Amanda. <laughs> uh, yeah, what were you saying, Chris? People are going to ask how they do it, how they're able to. Well, um, yeah, so everybody's going to be like, oh, how do I come and learn how to do this? Uh, well, for one, check out our advice video. We have a whole huge, like, half hour advice video on how do you get into this sort of thing. But um, with, like, Amanda, I mean, how long have you volunteered at the Outpost for? Just made a year. Just a made year. a year. And how many days a week are you here? Six, six days, days a week, week, like eight, eight hour days. 
or yeah. longer. Yeah, a minute is a lot of hard curb work here, so. So if you want to learn how to do this kind of stuff, you have to volunteer and put in literally countless hours of doing the scrubbing, feeding, sweeping, raking, all that stuff. And then you get to do the cool stuff. And what did we do today, guys? Uh, we caught, what, like 100 alligators today? Yeah, yeah a lot, a lot. <laughs> We moved a bunch of alligators into a different enclosure. Why are you touching his teeth? <laughs> oh my goodness. Why does he do this? So, any other questions? Wow, lots of people from TikTok. New subscriber. Yeah, TikTok people. We definitely have to do a giveaway like on TikTok, baby. You have so many supporters. Yeah. Amanda's gonna feed Brutus. I just, I just can't believe TikTok just threatened to suspend me. I know. For doing this. Oh, I told you why you were lying. Yeah. Yeah. That's it said that if we don't change the content, they're gonna suspend our TikTok account. That's a good boy. Almost. There you go. Handsome man's. Handsome man. Do you want to, uh, Talk here, or I'll talk a little bit about habituation with alligators. If you want to show me and brood us. Ooh, that was so bad. I'm sorry, Brutus. <laughs> that was disrespectful. Oh, did she mess up? Can you, uh, can you miss it? Okay. So, guys, as you can see, there's a little bit of chicken here that he missed. You never grab for it. That's how you lose your hand. So, we, you know, get it with a stick, brush it off, and then we can throw it in. <laughs> but um, this is a habituated alligator that Chris and I have been training working with for what a year yeah so we we do obviously still take precautions we're not you know uh fully trust him but he is a habituated animal that we've been working with the training so he is used to people a lot of people don't think that alligators are smart for some reason i don't know why so when people see our videos our mind is like blown sometimes people assume like we're sedating them which is impossible by the way they're conscious breeders so you can't do that um but it's just working with them and feeding them and making them understand that you're not a threat to them and you're not going to hurt them, you know? So we're able to touch his face, his eyes, his jowls, you know? Sometimes he will take a, a swing at you. Hi, big guy. And being able to do this is also beneficial. If all the alligators would like this, it would make our lives so much easier if we have to like move them into a different enclosure or for medical checkups. You don't want to stress an animal out, you know, when, when you can train them to be calmer. Um, especially an alligator this big, touching him from where he is and bringing him down to the vet would be super stressful. And some alligators that are big like this can actually die of stress. They get lactic acid build up. So if you can train an alligator to walk out and be okay with being picked up and touched, you know, that, that makes our lives so much easier. No, I mean, you were explaining it well. Um, people are commenting saying it's lagging, though, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we're... We don't have a good service back here, unfortunately. Yeah. How much is it lagging? It's lagging a lot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Chris actually doesn't do gator shows at the outpost. He does his underwater alligator tours where you can actually swim with cats. Casper. You can come swim with the gator with me. I think we have a few YouTube videos on him and we'll also be posting more about what to expect. But you can check out his Instagram, which is gatorboys underscore Chris for all the details and photos. You can get professional photos underwater with an alligator, which is really cool. I know he's a really good alligator. He's very relaxed. I would love to have him come out. We should build him a ramp. Whoa, look at him. He's thinking about it. This is the most we've ever had Head Shrinker come out. So this is already a huge deal. That is a big boy.
I mean, that, that's an improvement. That's a serious improvement. Yeah, for real. For real. He just looks massive next to you, babe. Yeah, and if you guys didn't hear before, uh, the reason why he won't come out any further is he's actually missing his hand over there. Yeah, I'll show you guys. What a beautiful boy. Those teeth are incredible. <laughs> Stop touching his tooth. <laughs> Have you ever been attacked, Chris? Only by women. <laughs> Good answer. So this is where the alligators live, guys. He's yes. got some massive osteoderms. He does. And they're sharp, too. Do you see how sharp they are? Those are That's sharp. So you guys brought um, Paul oh. caught him. On his own? Okay, so we actually caught him in Deerfield Beach, um, th like where they do the Renaissance Fair. And this was a call for a 10 foot alligator, but as you guys know, like 10 foot alligators usually turn out to be like five feet. Sometimes four foot alligators turn out to be 12 feet. So you never know what to expect. Um, so obviously we didn't think that he was going to actually be 10 feet. So for a year, we were trying to catch him, never saw him, never saw him. Paul actually went in the water after him one day and he came and tried to kill him. That's how he got the name Head Shrinker. He literally tried to kill him. Um, so he was able to noose him, pull him out, and then, you know, bring him here. How many gators are in there? I'm not sure how many are in here, but uh, on the property at the Everglades Outpost, there are over um, 500 alligators. I think there's 584 now. So crazy. And also guys, if you guys wanna donate to the outpost, you can do that on their website. You can donate to the care of the alligators. And just by watching our videos, you're supporting us and you're helping us make money. So thank you guys so much for everybody who's been supporting us. We're almost at 12,000 subscribers. So thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. <laughs> it is a very big head. A very big head. Yeah, he is. I don't know if anyone can, like, if people can tell how big he is on the camera, but he is massive. He's a big boy. Leo. Um, have you seen Octo? Maybe we Leo. can try to find Octo. Leo. How many feet? I believe he's like 11, 8 or something insane like that. Is he? Or long jaw? Oh, was long jaws 11, 8? He might be 10, 8 or something. Yeah. He, he's big. I haven't seen long jaws since we got him. Yeah, he's, he's over 11 for sure. Yeah, he can definitely lunge with his missing leg. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he could easily lunge. As as if he wanted to, but he, yeah, like, he's, he's, not gonna. he's not motivated. There's no reason for him to. He doesn't feel threatened. We're not hurting he him. Won't. We're giving him food, so he's happy right now. He he's just lazy. He knows either way, if he comes out or stays in, he's going to get food. So, um, <laughs> can you not, babe? <laughs> Look how gentle he's being, though. He's being so gentle. Working on desensitization. Is that the right word? Desensitizing? Yeah. Yeah. All right, babe. Is it possible to tell what age they are if nope. you haven't had them since birth? Nope. Why? So their size has to do with their diet and environmental factors, not on how old they are. So basically, this one could literally be triple the age of this one. Okay. Yeah. This like one could be older than him. Yeah. There's literally no way to be able to tell their age. Oh, look, oh look at his tail. Look at that tooth right there, though. You found a tooth? Oh. Whose tooth is that? Uh -huh. That's a nice one. <laughs> Very cool. So, yeah, they shed their teeth and grow them back, so that's normal. How did he lose his leg? Uh, likely from a fight with another gator, although that's how he came in. So yeah, that's how we caught him. We truly don't know, but you assume it's from a fight with another gator. Now, if you're thinking, oh, my God, he's so big, it must have been a fight with a bigger gator, it doesn't mean so. That injury could have happened to him 20 years ago, for all we know. It yep. could happen to him when he was literally a baby from an egret, you know? And he would just, obviously, doesn't grow back, so he's going to grow up with that. Do you want to go look for some other gators that we know? Yeah. Let's go see. 
Maybe we can find Octagator, the famous or infamous <laughs> Octagator. Oh, that's a cool gator to show. Oh, we just got a 10% warning. My battery's at 10%. So we'll do another two minutes. That's a good looking gator. That's a beautiful alligator. New. Yeah, definitely. You guys can see how skinny he is. Um, this one is likely a new alligator because all of the gators in here are very healthy and well-fed. So this is likely a new alligator that came in maybe a few months ago. And uh, we're working on fattening him up. Guys, take a look at this alligator. You want to say what happened to this gator? Take, this one is crazy. Look at this. So that one got, well, again, came in like that. So we assume that's from fighting and had the front of its jaw ripped off. So look at that, guys. He's missing the entire top half of his jaw. And they can survive like this. I mean, his nostrils are gone and they still thrive and survive. Even in the wild, they can survive like this. They're just incredible animals, like amazing at healing. Leo. Do you see Leo? Oh, Leo's Leo. gonna come out. I'll show you guys how the, the name training works. That's Leo. Leo. Come here, buddy. Leo. Leo. You gotta try, man. He's like, that's a big step. <laughs> Leo. You're, he's hissing because he's mad. He's like, just give it to me. I'm like, no, you gotta work for it. Leo. Come on. Leo. He's thinking about it. <laughs> he's thinking about Everyone it. is super lazy today. Leo. Come on. So Shrinker's like, oh, Yeah, Leo. Shrinker. <laughs> you can call me Leo. That's funny. You know, I haven't seen Bongo. Leo. Neither have I. No. Yeah. That's because we caught him that one day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They caught no, him. Even before that, I don't think I've ever seen him. Yeah, sometimes Leo. it takes for the big gators, it could potentially Leo. take a year for them to really get comfortable and start coming out. So they'll just hide on the bottom. Aww. Yeah, it's, it's really sad, but, you know, Unfortunately, with nuisance gators, the only options are oh, wait, death, no, okay. Leo. that Leo's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. death or captivity. Oh, All right, guys, okay. let's get some last minute questions. My phone is going to die. Hi, split, uh, not split jaw, head shrinker. There's so many. I, I look at that mouth. Let me see up. Let me see you up. Oh, that big man. Look at you. Look at that tail. For the most part, we have males and females separate. Um, in this pit, it gets a little bit tricky, but today we actually just moved a bunch of females. We had to sex all the gators and make sure, you know, but um, we separated all the males and females. And usually when we do get eggs, it's not a ton of eggs. We get like five nests and then we either keep those babies or send them off to other educational facilities and things like that. All right, baby, I think we're gonna end it. Okay. Thank everybody. Tell me to go watch all our other videos, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, the whole nine yards. Yeah. Well, I mean, they just heard you say it. So <laughs> And maybe we'll try to do a live video with Casper uh, this weekend or something. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.